introduce myself again. Okay, my name is uh, Miliar Derbo. I'm from Ethiopia, professor of pediatric surgery. Uh, I was the immediate past president of COSEXA. I'm here in Krakow uh, to attend the World Congress of Surgery annual meeting, the 48th World Congress of Surgery meeting. And uh, in this meeting, experts from all over the world will come and uh, share their knowledge and learn more and teach others as well. So I'm part of that. I'm now here at the Lifebox booth and uh, what I'm trying to do is promoting Lifebox. As you know, the activities of Lifebox are mainly in you know, improving surgery, promoting safe surgery. So when you say surgery, there are different components. One is the surgical procedure, the anesthesia, the pre-op and the post-op. So these are the things which have to be dealt with in Lifebox. As, as, as part of the pre-op preparation, Lifebox strongly promotes and advocates on the use of checklists. On the checklist, all surgeons, all nurses and anesthetists, they should use the checklist and to do the right thing properly. During surgery, the surgeons are expected also to use safe surgery by using reducing infection. That is from scrubbing and preparing the operating food, field as well as operating materials. So the proper way of sterilization and the proper way of uh, preparing oper operating site is what is Lifebox uh, advocating for. These are small things but make a lot of difference. Studies have shown that because of this, the infection rate in many countries has gone down just by using, by sticking to mo the models and the proper way of sterilization and cleaning. And the other important thing in surgery is anesthesia. And anesthesia is all about keeping the patient uh, keeping the patient uh, life during surgery and uh, maintaining his all vital signs. And the most serious problem which comes at this point is the oxygen sat saturation level, the pulse oximetry. The use of pulse oximetry has changed a lot in improving post operative mortalities and morbidities which are, which are supposed to come during anesthesia complications. So, so far, Lifebox has distributed more than 20,000 uh, uh, pulse oximeters, and these pulse oximeters are used in many places and have saved lots of life. As, as a senior surgeon, I used to practice surgery when there was no, when, life, when pulse oximetry was very rare and scarce. So in pediatric surgery, because of that, we have lost lots of patients because we don't have pulse oximetry. But now, all patients use pulse oximetry and you can see how safely the surgery and the anesthesia is going on. So the activities of Lifebox in overall improving, improving and ad advocating on safe surgery is very important. Very minor things very small implementation but a lot of outcome this is what is going on and i'm happy to be part of lifebox long live lifebox